Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Petrowski. We have an extremely cool, probably very coveted, very loved catching event coming out soon. So, as you can tell by the art, this is going to be a sort of Beldum Metagross themed catch event, but there's also some Bagon thrown in. So, some very powerful pseudo legendary Pokemon. You can make a lot of money during this catch event, as well as have a better chance at a, you know, a larger, cooler, overarching prize. This art is pretty interesting. It's called something like Steven's Challenge. I don't know, I'm not super familiar with that character with the Pokemon lore, but let's go ahead. It's still cool art. Let's go ahead and get into the details of the event. So, it's going to be taking place on Sunday the 30th of January 2022 at 2000 UTC, 1500 ET, which is what, 3 p.m. ET, that's my time zone, 1700 BRT or 2100 CET. It's going to be at Meteor Falls in Hoenn. I really like how they include this. You're going to need HM Waterfall to get access to the area. I really like that they include that information. That's very, very helpful. Uh, so you're going to have one hour to catch as many Beldum and Bajon as possible, and then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit your Pokemon to a staff member. So you're going to get a plus 8 species bonus for Beldum. So a huge bonus for Beldum, which makes sense, because I believe he is a... Uh, so both of these Pokemon are also in, like, extremely specific areas of the of the falls of the map. So if you don't know where to catch these Pokemon, I will try to remember to leave two links in the video description of this video um, showing you where to catch Beldum and where to catch Bagon. They're both in pretty different locations. Beldum is a very rare spawn, and Bagon is a rare spawn. But they're very difficult to get to in the caves. So I really recommend checking out those videos. All right, on to the nature bonuses. Plus 5 for Adamant, plus 3 for Naive, and plus 3 for Jolly. Since both the Pokemon you're going to be catching are so rare encounter-wise in this catch event, I highly recommend bringing a synchronized Pokemon. It should be very much, very much well worth it. On to the basic rules, first through third place are sorted from highest to lowest, fourth place is the lowest, and you can only submit one entry. What that means is you should be making sure you're understanding what you have a better chance of winning. If you've caught like a 160 plus score, I'd probably go for first through third place and submit that Pokemon. If you've if caught like a 25 or below score Pokemon, I'd probably go for fourth place and go for lowest, you know. It kind of depends on what's the highest score Pokemon you've caught so far and what's the lowest score Pokemon. And then that's how you kind of understand which Pokemon which to submit based on previous catch event, you know, history uh, and kind of trends. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. So if you were to, let's say, catch a Beldum and accidentally evolve it into a Matang, that would actually void that Pokemon as entry. So make sure you always leave all your Pokemon in the PC until after the event, label them, and then pull them out after the event is over. Uh, that should, you know, avoid that issue. You must be the OT of the Pokemon, so you can't catch a Beldum and trade it to a friend and try to have them win the competition or anything of that sort. You have to have the OT if you're the person whispering. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. So the staff members for this event are going to be Cosmuth, Damien TE, Bally Ads, and Deus Bruno. You can see these guys pretty actively talking in global chat during the event, so it should be pretty easy to right-click their name in global chat and click Whisper, and then link them over your entry. In the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by earliest catch time, which actually plays a pretty like important role. So catching Pokemon as fast as po as fast as possible and as early as possible is you know beneficial, but you can't really control that too much. All right, now on to the prizes. First place prize is going to be a gift Beldum with your choice of nature, four moves in six selectable IVs. So go ahead and make it six times 31 if you would like. Metagross can be a really nice mixed Pokemon. We'll make it five times 31 and go zero on the speed. Put it in Trick Room, something like that. Plus 1,000 reward points on top of all that. Second place is going to get 500 reward points. And then third and fourth will both get 250 reward points respectively. That covers all the main details of the event. I actually want to cover this quick post below the event. I'm not sure if this is entirely accurate, but this is really, really cool information. So this actually goes over, and thanks to this uh, this user, Prande. I can't really show it on the on the screen too well, but I uh, pr appreciate this if this information is correct. I'm not sure if it's quite correct. I know Pokemon can use different catch rates at times, and it's very, like... Kind of, it's very much its own game, but here's the kind of data on if your Beldum is at 1% HP from False Swipe and asleep and you throw a repeat ball, it has a 48% chance of catching, which is pretty low, like considering all those factors. Also, quick note, Beldum should have takedown, I believe, so it might be able to kill itself. So I really recommend actually not put Spore, like False Swiping it to 1 HP. It's probably better to just Spore Beldum and then just toss repeat balls until it dies. It's going to suck. It's going to be really annoying, but that might be the best the best option because 
it, it should have takedown it should be able to kill itself and when it's such a very rare encounter like seeing one kill itself after you spent so long hunting for it would be absolutely brutal all right and then Bagon is going to be they have, they have a great ball cap which is cool uh, 1% HP because of False White plus Great Ball plus Spore Sleeping. Uh, it's 52% catch rate. But then if you do a Repeat Ball, it goes up to 87%, which is a pretty huge bump. It's pro probably worth using that Repeat Ball, in my opinion. So, anyways, that should cover all of the details for the catch event. Let me know if you guys have any questions for it in the comments below. And like this video if it was helpful to you. And subscribe for more Pokemon content and stay up to date on events and guides and everything of the sort. And make sure to check out those videos I linked uh, where to catch Bagon and Beldum in the description below. Check out all the other playlist links below for more Pokemon Pokemon content, join the Discord, which is a really cool community that I'm really lucky to be a part of, uh, and then finally consider becoming a YouTube member to me if you feel as though I've helped you enough to warrant that extra support. It means the world, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.